three, two, one. Hey guys, Chris here, and if you notice, I'm not on the lake. Nope, I'm at home. Um, got a couple tournaments coming up. I was going to go pre-fish today, but I'm not going to go down there and get my teeth kicked in. I, I know where they're at for the most part, so not looking forward to the run we have to make, but we'll be okay. Um, anyways, why I'm not looking forward to that run. So as you guys have seen, we've taken a beating on our old stealth. She's a great boat. I love the boat. I made the joke the other day that I was going to be buried in this boat. But my boat's still short. It's still under, it's not underpowered for its size, but it's slow compared to what I have to run with today. So, been kind of setting some pennies aside and stuff like that. And well, it's going to be the end of the old stealth, guys. She's been a great boat. But if you notice, there's something sitting behind her. Is that back there? It's a stealth in all her glory. But what is that? Well, guys, upgrade time. I was riding back from the Harris chain the other day. Just happened to see a boat sitting at a shop. And something told me, man, just, you gotta turn around and go talk to him. So I did. And I brought home a new to me, nitro it's a 20 foot nitro it's an old nx 896 it's a 2002 so yes it's an older hull it's fine though it's the bones are good it's got some scratches and stuff on it but we'll go over it i've already cleaned it up a little bit just because i'm a child and the excitement was killing me um but uh anyways guys here we go introducing the uh newest rig to cd2 fishing here we go guys there she is no trolling motor, she's bare bones. So you've got like a maroon and kind of gold color here. You've got silver, black brake stripe, and then silver all the way down the bottom. Then it comes in, you got the black flake right here. Now, <clears throat> this is what I was saying, there are gouges and stuff here. So you've got this huge scuff right here. Um, you've got some scrapes down on the gel coat down there. A Little bit of a uh, gel coat, uh, clear coat chips right there. I'll get to the motor in a second. This is the side that's bad. So basically what happened here is if you can see this trailer is very tight. See that right there? So what has happened over time is loading the boat on. Apparently the old owner just gave up. Now look at this gouges and scratches here, guys. That goes all the way down, all the way up. Down the side there. So that's one thing we're going to have to work on. Um, had a blowout, so that's why there's no wheel on there. I have another wheel and tire for it, but yep. But uh, one second, guys, I'm going to cut this, and then we'll get back. Uh, we'll jump in the boat and go over that. All right, guys, we'll go ahead and start from the front to the back. Obviously, nothing going on up front. No trolling motor or anything. Carpet's in okay shape. It's not the greatest. We might do sea decking. I'm not sure yet. I uh, got rod locker over here giant rod lockers in there guys got that cut rod rack there tubes are still in struts are bad i've got new struts actually already ordered um other storage compartment over here this one's a little harder to get open let me see if i can actually get this one open it there you go full compartment there um we can fit rods if we need um not sure what all we're gonna have up in here yet where I'm gonna throw fur if he gets a lippy with me, you know? Just kidding. He can beat me up. Um, we all know this. Big storage compartment here. Goes all the way up in there. So, got that. Nice little area here. I may close this deck off. I'm not 100% sure. Floors are good in here. It's got a little glove compartment going on. So first little rod area there. Got to add, fix some lights in here. Seats. Um, this is just obviously the front or back butt seat, but seats obviously going to need some love. Um, move over here. 
It's got a little compartment going on over there, which will be nice. Switch panel. Have to replace a couple of switches, but all's well there. Uh, research stuff still works on it. I've tested all that. Um, I need to grab a tack for it, uh, which I just gotta. I gotta figure out which tack that is. I'm only finding the blue-faced ones, um, not the the red like this. How it's got the red inlays on it. Uh, steering wheel, you know, basic as can be. It's got hydraulic steering on it. It's got a whole C Star kit on it, but um, it's sloppy, so I gotta fix it. Um, this wasn't on video. The seat posts were in here. Um, there were swivelies. They were stuck as can be. Um, so we tore the carpet a little bit getting it. I'll have to shampoo it and figure it out. What can you do? Um, decent sized live well in there. It's got the divider. Live well, both sides, right there. Boom, boom. Simple. And we've got storage compartments. Oh, as I fall down on both sides. These trays come out. I also found a Vision. It's an Ito Vision uh, 110 in here, $25 jerk bait. So I'll take that. Uh, these trays come out. So um, I've actually got a battery charger mounted back behind here, which that's going to be coming out. Um, I've got my whole impulse uh, lithium pro 36 volt set coming out of the stealth coming in here um i think it's a 40 gallon fuel tank 40 or 50 gallon fuel tank something around there um it's a big freaking fuel tank i actually got to cross reference the numbers and see as you can see no batteries back here oil tanks just sitting um so basically what happened is this boat was dropped off at a shop um, or it was picked up by the shop. They were going to go ahead and do an engine swap on it. One thing led to another. Um, sounds like it lost interest. One of those deals happens to all of us, man. You know, you got 20 projects going on plus customers boats coming in. It's understandable. Um, you know, the painter's house always has the worst paint. The mechanics cars, the one smoking at every red light. So, Hey, the boat mechanics, the guy that's got a bunch of non-running boat projects sitting around. So it happens. Look at me. I'm not a boat repair guy, and I've got a non-running project sitting around. Uh, but anyways, without further ado, that's going to lead us back to the business end of this boat. Now, the cowling is faded bad, guys. So don't let the appearance of it fool you. It's 225 Optimax. So there she is there. Old big back motor. Let me go ahead and close this really quickly here guys there she is like i said it's the sea star steering setup on it um i just gotta bleed that i gotta get some help i gotta get somebody over here to help me bleed that out um but yeah there she is 225 optimax it's got a stainless uh three blade big three blade prop on her the big old 225 it's got a hydrodynamics manual jack plate. Check out this jack plate, guys. I've actually never seen a jack plate look like this before. It's just one single. So you take your bolts, your set bolts on both sides, boom, boom, loosen them. And instead of having the adjusters on both sides, there's just this one. So I literally could bring uh, one like my half inch extended handle ratchet with me and adjust that up and down, no problem at all. So it's pretty crazy, but I've got to finish bolting some stuff up. Like it's not bolted in down here. I don't have all the jack plate bolts in. So um, it's got a lot of work that needs done. But one second guys, I'll go ahead and pull the cowling off and go over this. All right, folks. Well, here she is with the cowling off. Um, 225 Optimax, like I said. Uh, it's got six brand new OE Merc injectors on it. A um, Couple other little things done to the motor. Um, she's sloppy. I gotta, I gotta fix a couple of things on here, um, just to make it a little more kind of up to par for me. But um, everything looks somewhat sound in here, it's as well as you can expect an older 225 to look. Um, right now, currently the trim and pump motor, uh, wrong side, stupid. Right here, as you can tell, she shot. So um, I got uh, got to get a new one of those ordered, which I have it in my card. I just have to order it right now. Um, just got to clean up a lot of cleanup stuff. I mean, this boat sat for about a year, year and a half, give or take. So um, just a couple of things. The trailer is not good, guys. The trailer is not good. Um, I can weld. I'm not a great welder. I will never claim to be a welder. Um, I get by. I'm a farm welder. That's what we'll call it. Uh, hold on one second guys how do i always get bugs on my screen why why do bugs love cameras so much um 
No, oh, it's because I live in Florida and blast across lakes in the middle of the night. Um, but yeah, like I said, the trailer, you guys can see the trailer is, uh, it's, it's already had a patch job done there. Where is it really bad at? One of these rails is like rusted pretty good. I think, guys, I think this boat was put in salt water. That's the only thing I can think of. Um, either that or Tracker really needs some help working on trailers or building trailers. Yeah, right there. You guys can see a little bit. Just rot. That's a patch job on that and the patch is starting to rust. So, guys, I might need a new trailer. I'm not sure if anybody out there is in the Central Florida area. Um, within an hour any direction from the Harris chain let me know if you might know of where I could find a tandem axle trailer for a 20 foot boat uh, well actually the 896 is 198 I think so 19 and a half 20 foot boat around there maybe even a 21 I mean I'll have a little bit extra trailer it sucks because this trailer is a swinging tongue and even with all that rust the freaking brakes work the brakes work so it's just i don't know but the one thing i don't like about it is how narrow this gap is look at that like that's close guys like i can't even get watch i can't get my hand in between it look that's uh that's not good so that's basically what's been happening over here as you can see all those scratches lines up perfectly with this just a in my opinion that's a horrible design so we got to do some gel coat patches there's some there's some chunks i mean there's another one there she's not nice by any means guys she's not a showboat which look at me i don't need a pretty boat so um but yeah so supposedly with the old original motor the 200 on here before it popped um she would run about mid 70s somewhere around there i don't know how true that is so you know um we'll see and i i don't know if they had the original 200 for all i know they had a black max or something stupid crazy on this boat i don't know you never know these days guys i see some wild stuff especially out on the harris chain area uh, but this boat came from north florida so um but i love this nitro guys it just reminds me of a skeeter in the back see that how it slopes back that's my uh shifter cable right there but see that how it pokes out on the back like that does that not look exactly like a skeeter it's crazy but yeah we're gonna fix her up as we go guys um um we're gonna keep fishing out of the stealth the stealth's still gonna be our workhorse for the time being and it's gonna be sad man because i really like that boat guys i really do but the stealth will be for sale soon so stay tuned i don't know if it's gonna be in two weeks two months a year depends um finances too because building boats is not gonna be cheap um the eventual plan with this boat i would eventually like to repower to a sho like a uh, sho 200 probably um and then do a niz tune flash on it and uh, it'll be a pretty peppy boat at that point but um yeah so we're gonna take all the electronics the all treks the graphs every everything the the business end of the stealth is gonna go on here I have another 36 volt trolling motor in storage. I'm probably, I might throw that on the stealth. I might sell that separately and just put like a 12 volt uh, trolling motor on the stealth or something. Power poles wise, I have the, the eight footers on the stealth, but the thing is guys is I, most of the stuff I fish is like in that eight to 10 foot water column range. And it would be so nice to have something that would grab and basically, and it could be how I have it mounted, I don't know, but I've got eight foot poles and if it's more than six feet of water, hang it up. It's not gonna grab, it's just not, that's it. Um, so I'm thinking of going to 12 foot min coated talons. So drop a comment below if you guys run talons. Um, I'm looking for the pros, the cons, good, bad, pretty ugly, it don't matter, tell me what you got. Um, because I'm seriously considering 12 foot talons. They make 15 footers, but I think at 15 feet, you might just be asking for problems. Uh, but once again, guys, this is the new boat to us. It's new to us. Obviously, it's not a high dollar bullet. It's not a bass cat. It's not a ranger. It's an old nitro, but it's a game changer for us. So it don't take much to make me a happy guy. So, but let's do a once over one more time, guys. Introducing the new rig, the new workhorse.
for CD2 fishing. Again, guys, I've got to find another wheel and tire to match that. The guy had a blowout previously and parked it. I did not get the fourth wheel with it. They are 15 by seven, either a four and a half or five inch backspace. Uh, obviously five on four and a half lug pattern. Five by 114.3 for you metric boys. But I got some cleaning to do. I think what we're gonna do is wrap this boat um, and do the CD2 fishing logo. I found an insane wrap, guys. Um, we'll see, we'll see. Maybe I'll drop a, a thing one day. I'll drop like a poll and see what you guys think. But, yep, that's her, guys. Look at that casting platform up there. I took my eight footer, my Lux, my uh, six cents glide bait rod and I laid it on the deck and it fits perfectly. No more rods hanging over, no more braking rods, no more hitting stuff with the trolling motor, none of that. It's done. We've got room now, guys. You know, it's not as big of a boat as I wanted to go. Guys, I wanted to go with a 21 or 21 and a half, something like that, but beggars can't be choosers. This would be a good starting point for us, and I think this boat's gonna, uh, really gonna bring us up to the next level of helping us uh, keep climbing that ladder, so, but. Anyways, guys, there she is. I wanted to bring this to you. It's a pretty exciting time. I'm going to go ahead and uh, set a camera up, start rigging some of this other stuff, and keep looking forward, guys, because there's going to be a series. Anything we do on this boat, we're going to document it along the way on top of the fishing that we do. Uh, I've got tournaments coming up, um, multiple tournaments coming up. We're fixing to be fishing three to four tournaments a month, guys. Actually, more than that, we're going to be fishing six to seven tournaments a month for the next couple of months so stay tuned for that plus fun fishing and everything in between and now i'm a boat builder <laughs> guys appreciate you watching make sure you check in our description check out all of our affiliates check us out on whatnot we're having a show sunday on whatnot and uh real quick before i close this out hopefully you're still watching i just want to give a special thanks to a follower david williams he's been with us almost since day one goes out of his way to watch all videos drops a comment, likes, everything. We appreciate you, man. Us little guys, you don't know how much guys like you mean to us, and I just wanted to stop for one second and say I appreciate you. And uh, without further ado, guys, I gotta set a camera up and get to work, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye, y'all.